hello guys welcome back to another video in today's video i'll be trading again with quarters broker and over here i want to start trading with a very small balance with about ten dollars so right now i have over 600 here so let's go ahead and reduce some of the balance so let's click our drawer and over here I'm the, i'll be taking out um six um six eight one oh sorry six seven one uh, point nine nine I think I want to have exactly ten dollar here so over here I'll be taking I'll be using my wallet then confirm okay I need to put in my um what's it called my Google authenticator app so let me quickly get that on my phone all right so let me get that guys so over here I have something of seven seven four seven Sorry, seven four seven six four four. Right. So let me confirm that. <clears throat> okay, right now my payment has been signed. So right now I have um, what's it called? Right now I should have. I'm afraid to pay. I have um, um, what's it called? Ten dollar balance. So right now let's go to the trading account. Let's see how much we can actually make with this balance. Right. Go back to the trading. So. okay guys um this is um our account so over here we're gonna take a trade and we're gonna use a strategy so last um on my last video if you check i trade with pocket option and i use um one um strategy that is the same strategy i want to use on today's video so the strategy is really simple so over here let's come um to the indicator part let's click here then we're using kidney channel don't forget that so the multiplier here will be changed to two right that's the only thing we need to do in this video I mean, this was a call strategy. That's the only thing. We're using the kidney channel on the multiplier. Just change the multiplier to two. All right. So when you're done, let's close this. And over here, let me put up my current superiors, guys. Okay, guys, real, real quick. So over here, I actually set up my current superiors. So how this actually work is really simple. If you watch my last video, you know how this work, right? So, but let me explain real quick. So over here, we're looking something out of the brain. Not only that, I want to train you. Like, sorry, guys, I want to teach you how you can actually be always a profit when you're using the strategy, all right? So I'm only using the indicator as a denmark, or as a call as a bridge between up and down. I'm only using the indicator to bridge, um, what's it called? I mean, to separate the candle between up here and down here, all right? All we're just gonna say is that when we say, this trade is definitely gonna happen on different time. We can do it on two minute. The best time to start with the trade is two, three, four, and five, and even 10 minutes, all right? So like I said last week, so I'll be taking a very large number of time with this trade right so all we're just gonna say here is that when we said our candle actually breached out of the kidney channel on an overbought condition what we're gonna um actually going to be looking at is the expiration of this particular candle when we say that the candle particularly breached out and it's getting weaker so we are taking trade on the next candle to a certain time the reason why we are taking trade on that certain time okay like this if i take a trade on this particular trade i mean what's it called on this particular um market here so if i decide to take a trade of 10 minute coming down i am so certain that within the 10 minute i'll be having a pull down the market probably i'll be in the money because the candle is still really strong but i'm so sure that what happened right now is that the candle have reached the um the uppermost limit as you can see right from here over in the last few hours the candle has actually read the uppermost limit so what i'm going to do right now we're taking a trade of 10 minutes on the next candle so i wait for this to expire to generate another candle reduce the balance to ten dollars all right so right now we're taking our trade uh, for ten dollars that's on my balance all right calm down for a 10 minute uh, the reason why that is really simple just like my explanation so when we say that a candle actually breached out over the night and this is getting weaker and we say that we have another run even more stronger going more up we know that um the reason why i actually take this trade is really simple why it's that i said that this candlestick here has actually reached the top um the topmost limit here because for the past few hours if you actually track this 
to over here this is the next time we have that kind of a thing all right so this is a very good moment to give it a good time to come down okay but if you're doing this make sure you're doing this on a very large number of time so that you can actually escape the overbought level if in case it keep going up right but i'm so certain that in a moment even if it got to here in a moment we'll be coming down and within the time we give it to come down we're definitely going to be breached out of the particular um where we give it a trade to come down right so i hope you understand better so this is actually going on so let's go ahead let me go ahead and see another currency price so that i can explain better so over here the same thing happened here as you can see over here we have a very good uh, bridge down the actually generate this but over here we discover that the candle is getting weaker that generate this so in this kind of moment if we give it a three minutes trade what's it called if we come over here and just change make sure you're always watching the time you're giving your trade we we'll give it a three minutes trade to go off right so after this this gets weaker we actually take the trade here that is one two three so we are definitely going to be in the money all right those this is just the analysis that you need to make and before you start trading i used to say this time without number before you start trading always make sure that you've analyzed the price market it's very important know what actually happened know um the analysis i actually to made maybe if you don't get it it means that knows that okay this time actually breached out and after one two three four or five they start coming down and actually find this out and also come down over here and see um okay this actually breached out to here if you actually take the trade here then one two three definitely gonna be in the money even if you take a trade for 10 minutes all right these are the analysis i want you guys to be taking note of make sure that you go to the past know what happened the kind of trade that happened in the first so it is very certain i'm so hundred was it called 90 percent certain that what happened in the past definitely gonna continue um, what's the cause what's gonna happen in the present if you're only taking trade on um, what's the call on a right market on a stable market sorry so guys this is just the explanation so right now I will be what's the call we'll be waiting to see if we're gonna be in the money on this and we we'll feed in the money then we we'll go ahead and continue trading all right okay guys so as you can see we're in the money so as you, like what i told you the other time when i took the trade here so the um what's it called the kind of keep over thing and the next two minutes it comes down again on the money so that is what i'm actually trying to say the other time so if you're having something like that always make sure that you're giving it enough time was called to um so that it can actually because i'm so certain that the trade will definitely come down after um five minutes was go after 10 minutes because of where there was a call the transaction i mean they can't do actually stake for a very long time all right so that's a very good one when i win money on that so right now i'll be analyzing i hope you understand the explanation right so right now i'll be analyzing so when i see another great time then i'll come over and take a trade of 15 dollars all right okay guys i see another great moment here all right the um i actually waited when this candle actually breached out and i see that it generated another one coming down in a very weak position so i know that i'll be having a good time in a moment so that's the reason why i actually go ahead and i gave it a three minutes option what's it called trade right i know i'm still gonna have an overbought but i know that um what's it called the down option which is the put option is still very strong so i know that even though i do have that in a moment of time i'll be having um a great pull down so that's the reason why i actually gave it um three minutes so guys let's wait and see if we're gonna be in the money in the next um few minutes right Okay, guys and a good one we in the money on that as well that's a very great one so i have a 30 dollars so i think i should do 30. Uh, let me do 25 right so right now i'll be analyzing again when i get another one another moment i'll come over and take a trade all right <laughs> Thank you. 
okay guys so over here i found another great moment so as you can see i actually put in a down trade on this for four minutes all right that's it um what's it called that's the number um the reason why i love this on broker they have four minute option unlike the other brokers all right so i'm actually doing this for four minutes because the reason why is i actually took the trade um when i said it's going to actually generate this in a very strong manner and it's getting weaker on the point of what's it called out of the kidney kind of channel so i know that i'm still going to be getting overbought condition for this particular candle but i know it has waked already and i know that in the next probably the next candle it will be coming down circle so that's the reason why i'm doing it even more longer time than three minutes so i put in a four minutes trade for this all right so guys let's see if we're gonna be in the money um in the next few minutes all right okay guys so a very good one there when the money on the last minute so that's the reason why i do it for four minutes so for the last one minute the account was a call the market actually dropped very good and i was locked in the money that's a very good one so right now let me do something about 45 then let's go ahead and analyze so when i see another great moment i'll come over i'll take a trade and i'll explain the reason why i did that right okay guys so i find another great moment on oversold condition all right i gave it another trade to be for four minutes as you can see this candle we have a very huge pull down here um on a great moment so i actually locked in on the i mean, was give it this on the trade even without it getting out of the kidney channel the reason why is that i know that this is um the candle get weaker it just pulled down so over here when it generated this um nothing um the candle getting weaker right that's just what i observe and i know that um what's it called in a moment i'll be having another great up what's it called um what's it called another um great pull up in the market that's the reason why i'm actually doing it for four minutes because i know that in a condition like this if it is not out of the kidney channel it is likely that um what's it called it's still definitely going to be in oversold condition but the reason why is the fact that um this particular candle here is very weak that is what i know and even no matter how it got to be an oversold condition i know that i'll still be having a great time to go up in the market so that's the reason why i'm doing this performance all right so guys let's wait and see if this is going to be another great one in the next few minutes all right okay guys so another great moment here is one dollar so from ten dollar to 85 that's a very good one we are progressing so let's take this higher as over here let's do 80 dollar right and um i'll be analyzing again okay so when i see another run another great moment i'll come over and take a trade and i'll try to explain later right okay guys over here I actually put in uh what's it called 80 dollars for um up option so over here we have um a bridge out of the net as if you can actually even study this particular kind of stick here as you can see it gets very weak to actually generate this and we have a very good time coming down in the market so the next can do i wasn't actually taking a trade the next can do was very weak and not only that um if you see the um the line of the kidney channel over here actually got coughed which i know that any moment i'll be having a good what's it called the candle is getting weaker and i'll be having um a pull up in the market and not only that i also observed that right from here to here we have a very great time in the past so i know that it's definitely going to be another great moment so that's why i actually put in a trade for four minutes i think i'm getting um love with this four minute trade right now so that's the reason why i actually put in a four minute trade on this so guys let's wait and see if this is going to be another great moment all right we've come so far so again i'm really taking my time to analyze because i don't even want to lose out on any trade in this time because we've getting I was a call we've come to for a laser trade so let me put the rest five dollar here so option 
All right, guys, let's wait and see if we're gonna be in the money in the next um, few minutes, all right? All right, guys, so we're in the money on the $80 trade. That's a very good one. So actually plays in, um, what's it called, a $5 trade here. When I said that um, the gun did actually got dropped again. So guys, let's wait and see. Um, let's wait for days to get a, what's it called? expired before we go ahead and continue trading all right we have less than a few minutes i mean few seconds sorry okay guys so when the money on that that's a very good one so right now we have a very good balance right now so let's do something higher let's do about 120 dollars or 130 dollars guys so because i don't want to put this up so right now I'll be analyzing again. Okay, so when I find another good moment, I can take a trade. All right. Okay, guys. Okay, this is a very good one. So over here we're doing our three minutes trade. I'm sorry, guys. It kind of actually dropped really good. I actually want to put it here, but it dropped down so good. But is it still really going to be a great moment? You understand? So I'm doing it for three minute um, down option. So what happened here? I said that when this kind of actually breached, I generated this, and this one actually go up so good, and suddenly it dropped back, right? So I know that it's definitely going to be a great moment. So I want to actually want to put in the mind to lock in the trade when it drops so very bad too. By the time I'm changing the uh, what's it called the time, but I believe this is definitely gonna be another growth moment. So let's wait and see if um, we're gonna be in the money in the next um terminator. All right. Oh, sorry guys, I actually left the scene. So we actually um get back our what's it called our bonus. So it seems that we never um able to what's it called? We actually get back the balance on them when the trade keep coming down. Sorry guys, I actually left the screen to do something inside. But anyway, um let's um keep analyzing. Alright, so when I find another great moment, I'll give it a trade. Alright, but right now I will be taking my time have a very good analysis before I go ahead and play the trade, all right? Because I wouldn't love to lose any money on this trade. What's it called on this um, amount? I've actually built it from 10 to over 140, so it wouldn't make any sense. So that's the reason. Another thing I would like to share with you guys, um, always make sure that you're content. Like, um, always have this kind of, don't think that you can take a $10 to make a $1,000 on a trade. It doesn't work that if anybody thinks such thing works i'm telling you right now it doesn't work all right if you keep working with a strategy on a particular trade and you keep winning what is called you keep uh, on the right side of the market always make sure that you have a limitations make sure you have a money kind of from what's it called money adverse right this is not um something you think you can just jump in with a uh, ten dollar or fifty dollars i think i'm um, at the end of the trade you'll be making two three thousand dollars it doesn't work that way right so that's why i'm actually teaching you how to minimize your balance all right i'm actually doing this based on the experience that i had right so if i put my whole amount of money on a particular trade i am so certain that i'll, I'll be on that trade right i'll be definitely be on the trade as well and put in a large amount of money so it will get to some certain point because this is how the market works the market as you're trading people other people are trading and the market is getting glitched and at the point of time it will even get to a point where the market will be so bad that no strategy can work if you never know about that and you continue trading you might end up losing all your money that you've made on that in a very short period of time all right so you need to be very what's it called very careful and always use um, what's it called have um what's it called orientations of money money wise or um investment wise all right don't just cop keep doing if you are on a winning side i this is what i normally told most of my students that okay when you keep trading and you have at least um 10 trades straight winning 
I will definitely lock up. Make sure that even if you still want to be trading, make sure that you're trading with a very minimal balance that even though you lose out, you won't be moved. All right. So that was just it. So over now, I'll be taking another uh, trade. So I'll be analyzing again a very good one. So if I find the best moments, I'll come over and take a trade. Then I will explain better. Right. Okay, guys, so over here I'm taking a trade of $130 for five minutes. All right, I'm not doing this on three or four minutes, but I'm doing this on five minutes. The reason why is that um, we have a very full uh, market here, and also I actually look al along this middle line and the Kedna channel. It's fall right from here, it keeps falling. As you can see, it falls so so bad down here. So I know this is a very great fall, and I know that it's very possible I'll still be having a very strong candle. As you can see this is a very strong candle that generate this so i know that i'll still be having um it's very possible that i'll still be having a very pull down strong candle so that's the reason why i'm doing this for what's the call for a little bit longer time for five minutes but what i'm so certain of is this right so over here if you actually said that this is the last time for the past hour this is the last time that um the trade actually really fall and start going up so i believe that any moment i'll be having uh what's it called a weaker candle of the was a call of the down option and then i'll be having a great time for the up option trade so that's the reason why i actually put in a trade on this to be for five minutes all right guys this is another great moment i believe so let's wait and see if we're gonna be in the money in the next few minutes all right Okay, guys, so when the money on doubt is a very good one. So, right now, I've actually built uh, my balance to over 200. So, right now, I'll be minimizing this balance. I'll be taking trade from right now, I'll be taking trade only for 150. All right, so um, market is not really on a good side right now. So, I'm, I usually actually, what's it called? I usually take my time to analyze. And only get the best moment to put in trade right that's all i'm doing so right now i'll be analyzing again when i find another great moment then i'll come over and take a trade then um i'll explain better the reason why i take the trade all right so hello guys so over here i actually put in uh what's the call I actually put in a $150 trade over here. The reason why, but I'm actually doing this in a very longer time, as you can see, 10 minutes. Um, the reason why is like, like right from here, the um, the market really drops so, so very bad to this moment. But over here, where I actually put in a trade, the market is getting weaker on this. But I know that, um, what's it called? The bridge doubt is started from here, the actual generate days. But I know that I'll still be having, uh, what's it called? A glitch down, what's it called? An overbought lever if possible what actually happened here in a point of time so i know that okay if i actually put in a trade for being terminated in no time i'll be having a pull up and probably just probably i'll be out of this what's it called this line here in the next 10 minutes which i'm so very certain of based on the experience all right but if you are over there i don't know if you are having the best kind of knowledge of this in the past trade but i'm just saying that if you never have this kind of knowledge i will advise you to ignore this kind of um trade all right but based on the fact that i've actually have over 10 times knowledge of this kind of a trade in a large in a longer time of a period and at the end of time it definitely gonna end up in the money and the reason why is that as you can see the candle actually dropped very bad here which is even for the past days there's not trade that haven't done that so I know that any moment I'll be having a great time. I'm in a great pull up. That's the reason why I'm actually doing this on a larger time. I'm in a longer time of period. All right. So guys, let's wait and see if we're going to be in the money in the next um, few minutes. So we have less than, um, I think we still have like a seven minutes to go. So guys, let's wait and see if you're going to have, uh, if you're going to be in the money in the next few more minutes. All right. Okay, guys, so we're in the money on that. It's a very good one. As you can see, the, um, after six minutes, the candle, um, what's it called? The market start going up, and we locked in the money on that. So this is how you trade with a larger time of time, right? Okay, right now we're having a great time. 
okay i think this is a good moment i'll be doing another 150 because the market is getting really bad so i'm trying to like um what's it called i'm not to that confidence anything can happen in a moment so i'm trying to be very careful right now so even though if i lost that on 150 i still have a very great profit all right now i'll be taking another one another analysis so if i see another great moment okay over here if i see another great moment i'll come over and i'll take a trade right okay guys so i see another one here all right so i actually placed in a trade the reason why i actually place trade on this particular candle is that this candle has actually generated a very good one it gen i mean what's it called we have a very great candle here very strong candle here that generate this so i'm actually waiting for this to give me another candle before i decide on what to put my trade on but i realize that this candle is getting weaker which i'm so certain of that even the candle is definitely going to generate in the first time will be weakening so that's the reason why i actually place in a trade here before this one actually generated so but i'm doing this for four minutes don't forget that also we are still having a very um what's it called a good time to wait and see what was going to be but i'm so certain because i get a bridge out of this candle not only that for the past few trade as you can see over here as you can see to here we're having a very very good time after the trade start coming up here so i know that in a moment this is definitely going to be this scenario the case because not only that if we check the last few past trade the candle was even not really strong all right the up option trade is usually taken up it's only here we have a very good pull down and after that here but in a moment i know that this is definitely going to be another great moment for me that's why i actually put in a trade all right so let's wait guys and see if we're going to be in the money in the next few minutes all right okay guys so we are in the trade here as you can see over here the trade was really really um what's it called glitch on so um the candle kept generating and it's very bad so i'm even so lucky to be in this trade because i uh, was it called it's just few seconds to drop down when um the time is right so thank you guys this is where i'm gonna stop the market is really bad right now okay guys this is where i'm gonna stop on today's video we've made a very good number of profit from a ten dollars to 500 all right this is how you trade with a minimal balance make sure like i said make sure that your past trade determines like i used to say right from there one your past trade determine your current trade all right if you're using this structure you always make sure that you actually check the past trade and not only that you're trading on a very good market it's very very important that you're trading in a very good market and then you can actually use that this is a very profitable strategy guys is, i've been using this right from day one even when i started um what's it called binary trading this is what i started with in the past and i still discovered that it's even working better in this present all right so make sure that you actually leverage this opportunity do this on your demo account guys please do this on your demo account when you're comfortable enough to use it with your life then you can go ahead but i guarantee you that this is a very great strategy if you follow all my rules and regulation that i lay down here how i click the trade analyze the past market know the particular time if you're having if you're not too confident if it actually breached out and you're still having a very strong and oversold position i actually beseech you to do it in a very larger time like 10 minutes or i do that in 10 minutes analyze the past market to see the bridge then you can go ahead and take a trace a very good uh, strategy 90 percent accurate i've tested it and it's very very okay thank you guys so much i love you guys so if you like the video please give me a thumbs up subscribe to the channel and make sure you turn on the notification bell because so that you won't miss out i'll be doing a version of starting from next week our indicator will be out not only that i will start taking a, a kind of a trade an episode with quarters option with quarters broker i'll be starting i'll be starting my balance will be ten dollars and i i want to make sure i can if possible i can actually view that i was a call make that balance to be around fifty thousand the next day today so don't mix um the episode make sure you subscribe so that you don't miss out immediately i started all right so thank you so much and when i started i'll be using different strategy in different episode all right so that um you can actually learn a lot so thank you so much like i said again please subscribe if you haven't make sure you turn on the notification bell so that you won't miss my next update thank you so much and i'll see you on another video